how to create a KuCoin account. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a KuCoin account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I'm on their main website, KuCoin.com. And over here, you can see KuCoin is available in over 200 countries, 30 million global investors, 700 plus accounts, and 1.55 billion trading value in the last 24 hours. So you can see some of the hot list over here. So you can see some of the hot cryptocurrencies that are right now you know on the rise uh, we can see new coins and top gainers as well so if you're wondering why you should create an account well it's because you know some accounts even though there are listed on kucoins but you can't find them on anywhere else such as binance binance is one of the world's leading cryptocurrency uh, exchanges but some coins aren't even listed on binance they are listed on kucoins because they don't have that kind of hype yet so that's why people try to find those types of coins so KuCoin has them. So we're going to go ahead and create an account on it. So create an account. It's very simple. You just enter in your email address over here and hit the sign up button. And over here, you create a account and you can claim an award. If you have a referral code, you can paste that over there. You can even continue with Google or Apple if it if you want. But for now, we're going to click on this. And now we just enter in the verification email, the verification code that they sent us. So pasting that code, now we just enter in our password. We have to make sure that our password is between 10 to 32 characters and at least one upper character, lowercase and number should be in no spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and customize it to 15 characters and just paste it over here. Confirm. So now all that's left for us to do is to verify our account and we should be good to go. So to verify it, we click on the verify now button. This takes us over here. Here is the standard identification process. Uh, it takes almost three to five minutes to verify it. So this is very important. So you click on verify. All right. You have to download the app. So now you have to move over to the phone in order to do so. So I'm going to switch over to my phone now and I'll show you how it's done. All right. Now, as you can see, I've installed the application and now we'll just open it up and we're good to go. And now we just agree to their terms and services. As you can see, it is opening up right now. And after allowing permissions, we should be good to go. So now all we have to do is to go ahead and, you know, scan the code that we have on the screen. So we're going to click on the scan button. There you go. It is now scanned. Now we just have to log in into our phone. So we just enter in our email address. And now we just input our verification code that they will send us to our email. And after that, we should be good to go. So now we are good to go. Now let's get verified on our phone. So we click on get verified. So over here, we have to add our country. Our, we have to add our ID card, our passport and our driver's license. And we should be good to go. Now I've already created an account. So I'm going to go ahead and try to log in and show you how it looks like. Because uh, if I, you know, go ahead and give them the exact same thing that I already given them from my other account, they'll block my account. So I'm going to go ahead and log out and log in into my other account. All right. So here we go. So as you can see, I'm logged into my account. And as you can see, this account is verified. So let me just show you all the things that you need to do. So as you can see, I'm verified. I can go ahead and deposit and buy crypto. I'm fully verified, whatever the KuCoin offers. So basically all you have to do is add your ID card. You have to add your location, whatever they ask for. You take pictures, you send them that. They might even ask you for a small video of your face, uh, you know, just to verify it, maybe even fingerprints. But once you do that, you should be good to go. After that, you can just simply go ahead and deposit uh, your tradings uh, right over here. You just simply click on deposit and deposit all of your crypto or fiat currency. You can buy crypto over here uh, by just simply adding in your amount and you can transfer it as well. So very simple you can see right here this is how you do it it does take a little bit of time i will say this uh it takes about 10 minutes to actually get going and but once you've done that everything is smooth sailing from here so after that you are good to go so as you can see vip is over here so currently i'm at level zero uh if you click over here you can go ahead and increase it as well so over here you can apply for a vip now what does that offer so over here as you can see currently in spot trading 
Uh, you can see current rate is 0.1 maker and 0.1 taker. But if I go get to the next tier, I will have even lower uh, margins. So keep that in mind. So fees and percentage that they have are going to be decreased as well. So yeah, very simple. This is how you do it. This is how you create an account on KuCoin. So yeah, as you can see right here, I'm back on my computer. But yeah, uh, just make sure to follow all of those steps. Uh, make sure to give them your ID card, your passport if they ask you, and your driver's license if they ask you. And once you have given them, uh, it'll take a couple of days for verification to go through. They might even contact you via email or number. They might ask you for a video for you to submit a video of your face, maybe even write something on a paper like other websites or companies do. But yeah, make sure to give them whatever they want. And it should be a simple and straightforward process. Although if you are from the United States, I do believe that KuCoin does not operate it there because of regulations and stuff. So let me just go ahead and make sure that's true. So as you can see right here, it says uh, KuCoin is not supported in the US because it doesn't have a license there. So yeah, that is unfortunate. So but I have figured out that if you use a VPN, it still works. So make sure to use a vpn if you are from the us but yeah other than that everything should be straightforward so also let me just show you how you can go ahead and deposit some crypto now usually what happens to me is i have to you know use binance and then transfer it because for some reason i can't do it it messes up sometimes so that's why i use binance sometimes but you know uh, you just simply click on the deposit button right here and over here you select the coin that you want to deposit right it can be anything uh, either it's usd or usdt or whatever you select the network right each of these different networks will have their time so if you see trc20 uh, which is tron trx uh, it will take one minute if you go with ton ton it'll take three minutes if you go with soul it will it'll take four minutes and you know they're different over here so go ahead with whatever you think is good so let's for example say this one is our you know network then over here is going to be your deposit details you just simply copy it add this address into your binance where you have a few coins or whatever and then you can go ahead and transfer your cryptocurrency to your network over here it's very simple now if you want to deposit fiat you just simply click on deposit fiat over here and here you basically select the currency that you want so currently there is only uh, euro tang or russian ruble or brazilian real are the ones that are available you select that select the card and credit card that you want to deposit it with or p2p person to person and then you just simply deposit your cash and once you've deposited it it will automatically be transferred into your cryptocurrency and you can go ahead and transfer it to the usdt or yeah tether usdt and then you can use it to buy whichever uh, cryptocurrency you want so you can see there's hdr i've also um, dabbled in that so any other cryptocurrency that you have a little bit of you know cash in they'll appear over here and you can go ahead and convert your fiat currency your fiat cash to into that uh, specific cryptocurrency so very simple this is how you do it this is how you transfer cash as well within kucoin right now i'm using the my secondary account which is completely verified so yeah so very simple this is how you do it this is how you use kucoin and how you use it to buy and manage your cryptocurrency so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye